Earth movement is another physical threat to your security. Now, Earth movement normally would mean an earthquake or a mudslide or an earth slide. Different areas of the world have different probabilities of this actually occurring. Most people think, as far as the U.S. goes, that the extreme west coast is the most susceptible for earthquakes. While that's true, it was fairly recent that there was an earthquake actually in Georgia and Tennessee. So the east coast can have earthquakes and they expect periodically that they will have earthquakes in many different areas within the United States and of course the entire world. Earthquakes and heavy rains together or separately can cause mudslides or earth slides. And these events can be very harmful to your facility and can cause severe interruptions. Understand the particular threats that will affect your area of the country. Storms, another big threat. Now basic storms are no big deal. However, extreme storms can take the form of electrical storms, very serious thunderstorms with high winds. They can also take the form of tornadoes in certain parts of the country. Once again, be aware of the likelihood of dangers of storms and what the damage may be. There are some parts of the U.S. as well as other parts of the world that have a high probability or a higher probability of being hit with a hurricane. Well, clearly, Montana doesn't have a high probability of being hit with hurricanes, but then Florida would. So again, you need to know your environment. And then a physical security threat that everyone suffers from is the threat of sabotage or vandalism. Sabotage, of course, would be an intentional attack on a system, trying to disable the system. Vandalism is not necessarily as insidious, but the result may be exactly the same. A vandalized system may be inoperable. So these are some of the security threats, but not all of them. Let's continue and look at a few more.